Daily devotionals for August 17th. Today's scripture reading will be Luke 8 verses uh, 49 through 55. And I'm not going to read everything, but most of it. While he was still speaking, someone came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Do not be afraid. Only believe, and she will be made well. So that's really important. We need to believe. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe what the Word says. Now, Jesus took with him... Uh, Peter, James, and John, and the father and mother of the girl. And he didn't want anybody in the room with him who would have doubt and unbelief. So all who wept and mourned her, uh, they had to stay outside. He said, do not weep. She is not dead, but sleeping. He had to speak what is in the spirit realm not what was seen in the natural and they ridiculed him because they knew that she was dead so he put all them outside he said little girl he spoke to her spirit little girl arise then her spirit returned and she arose immediately and he commanded that she be given something to eat you know it's really hard uh when someone passes, you know, our emotions go uh, haywire. And, but Jesus put everybody out of the room that had any form of doubt or unbelief in them. He said, only believe. And therefore, he only took those who could see what he was seeing. You know, the, the parents and his three close disciples Peter, James, and John, he took them with him, and they stood in that place of believing. You know, when we have doubt, they say you do without, you know, believe and receive. So that's where we need to be today, and I believe we're living in the time of the greater works, and we need to, when something happens, we need to not uh, be shaken, but we need to stand in that place of believing. Now, I know that, uh, you know, God takes many people home every day, and it's according to his will. But if the Lord shows us in like an instance like this to pray for somebody who is, has passed, and he showed us that it's not his will, then we do need to stand in that place of believing and pray for that resurrection life. You know, I went through that with Bob in 07. <laughs> he coded, and I'm like... I knew that he had not seen his promise of the billion soul harvest come to pass. So I wasn't going to weep and moan and let him be dead. I was like, no, you will live and not die. I was not going to let him go into that place of death at that point. It was not his appointed time. Now, I'm not just talking about death here, but in anything we need for any circumstance only believe you know if it's a financial lack of uh it could be anything you know we need to stay in a place of faith don't fall into doubt believe believe the promises of god believe what his word says and stand in that place of faith receive all that the lord has for you okay till next time be blessed